Okay, guys, it's been a while since I put a video up. Um, I thought I'd give you guys an update. It's like July 20-something. It's like a Wednesday, I think. I don't know. It's been a crazy year. We're out here mowing this beautiful property. We actually weren't mowing for, what was it, 17 days. We were on a D1 level drought, the last video you guys seen. Um, sorry, I'm running because I was trying, it was a big storm. It was like you couldn't see the mountains there. It was just on the other side of the road there. But it just missed us. But we were not mowing, just doing a couple other things and I didn't record much. I haven't been like super motivated to record a lot. I should start recording again. But um, yes, we went from super dry into a drought. And then since Thursday of last week, so it's been six days, we've had 9.75 inches of rain. Um, we're behind on a bunch of lawns that we didn't mow in three weeks because it was dry until we started getting all this rain. We've been mowing a little bit. Today I'm mowing this one with Rachel on the other side. And today I'm mowing this one. Rachel, if you can see her, is way back there in the corner somewhere. You see her little red mower. I'm mowing this one, um, but we're supposed to get another anywhere from two to 10 inches of rain. They don't know. I don't see any rain stopping in the foreseeable future. So we're mowing kind of in the morning when it's sunny out, then when the storms come, we end up getting back out and mowing. But it is what it is. I can't control the weather, nobody complains. Um, so maybe I'll record some mowing tomorrow. I'll take you over the garden. That thing's been flooded so many times this week and we're supposed to get probably two to three inches again tonight. But like you said, you can't complain. We needed this rain. But I'm gonna get back to it. I'll take you guys over there. I wanna mow this. And I think we're gonna go do one more and that'll make, I did two lawns today and fertilized and put fungicide and sprayed, I think seven lawns. But let me get back to this and then hopefully I can put this video up tonight. Give you guys an update. As you can see, we didn't make it. It came over that side of the mountain. So originally it was coming from this way. Now it's like all around us. But I think we're almost done. Rachel might be almost done. It is what it is. I'm not gonna complain with rain. We just want it to keep raining. We'll mow four a day if we have to. But not if it's too wet, I'm not mowing. I'll just push them off for another day or three. Okay, let me finish going up here then. I might weed eat or I might just wait till tomorrow to weed eat. I am right across the street. We'll see. Well guys, it's the next day and it is pretty much in the afternoon and we got a ton of rain. You guys seen earlier, we were across the street mowing. I'll come out here and show you the garden real quick to end this video. That's Lucifer. I got to come out here and weed all this. Man, I remember when this little creeping Jenny here was just a little, it was just four inch pots that were growing and I plucked a couple here and I've just been watering this. And then of course, the, we're up to 10 inches of rain now. It rained all morning and it's supposed to rain again. We went out and did an estimate for, look, it's rained so much that this tree now, peach tree is like grown so much. This one recovered. I thought it had like a disease, but it's doing better. So I'm thinking it's because the pot that it was in with the flocks was sucking all the moisture and it's sitting above ground. So that did not help. So I'm gonna take you down there in the garden. Oh, and some other things I did. Oh, Zinnia. I gotta cut back some of these. Like, look, I got tomatoes growing all in here. Huh. Nice. Gotten just so much rain. Look how much all this has grown. All this, I don't even know what this is. This popped up out of nowhere and it has, we noticed one of these. I don't, I don't, I don't have no idea what that is. So some kind of cross between something. <laughs> Interesting, right? And then of course, all this has grown so much. Look, there's so much water that there's puddles everywhere. Ugh. Look, puddles everywhere here. Everywhere. I really haven't done much in the garden out here neither because we've been, it's been raining and we've been trying to get some stuff done in between mowing and stuff but everything looks good i'm gonna start concentrating on fall we're gonna plant a lot of fall stuff here um and everything we turned over we're gonna plant fall crops going into winter 
But look, everything nice and pretty. These are Black Eyed Susans. And then you have, look at these peppers. Last night we made stuffed peppers with these peppers. They were bigger. I picked all the ones off the bottom. I'm probably going to have to stake this more because these get pretty big. And then I think this is a pepper plant. I don't have a lot of pepper plants. This is a pepper plant here. Um, not much growth on it, but we were in a drought all the way up into... Well, they actually said we're still abnormally dry, but I don't think it accounts for the 10 inches of rain we got in the past week. Uh, but look, there's puddles all, all throughout here still. Of course, it did rain all morning. But look, here's my zinnias. Look how pretty these are. Nice. So I figured you guys seen something we mowed and some of the some of the garden in this video and i'm gonna try to put more videos up maybe i'll just do shorter videos um and not so much i don't know i'll figure it out to get you guys some videos up i just been really busy lately i moved all the chickens to this area and then i'll probably move them again because they tore this down in in like three days so i'll probably move them into this area where i'm throwing all my weeds and scraps and then what i'm going to do is turn them over and I think we have enough time still for uh, me to plant more of these sunflowers. I'm just gonna pull a head off and just sprinkle it everywhere. But look, still have tomatoes. Corn, I think I can actually pick some of this corn. The only thing I'm sad about is we've had so much, look all the peppers. Oh man, I'm gonna have to pickle some peppers. And these are tomatillas or something. I'm not even sure. I haven't tried one yet, but we'll see. So the only thing is I let the, all the water sits in these aisles here, as you see. And these cucumbers ended up sitting in these aisles. So these are probably ruined, especially because we're going to get even more rain, I'm pretty sure. So I don't know if we'll be able to use many of them. I had a watermelon over here, but I think something started eating at the watermelon. I don't know what it was. Eventually I'll get out here and be able to clean this up. More tomatoes down here. The chickens, when I moved them, they got out and they started like eating everything in the garden. All Rachel's green tomatoes on the bottom. Um, more tomatoes. Oh, a Cherokee purple. Almost ready. But look, when you get this much rain, you start to get blight and then disease sets in. That's why I said I'm just gonna do the best with the rest of the tomatoes. And then we're going to start planting uh, core seeds and stuff. Look, more tomatoes over here. All these beans got wiped out by pests, but that's what happens when you garden. Um, we picked out so many potatoes from all the potatoes we planted. So that was a success. More zinnias here. Nice. So that was a quick walk through the garden and an update on how we've been doing. Hopefully you guys have been doing good. If you're in the southeast, um, you're probably flooded and wet. And you I don't know what happened to this apple tree. This thing just started dying. Who, who knows? Oh, let's see what Rachel's seeds came up. She planted chard over here. Lettuce, spinach, and all that stuff. Oh, so she has some came up here, here. More zinnias, volunteer tomatoes with tomatoes on it. Not bad. I'm not sure what's going on with the apples. It might have been the drought that hurt them. We were dry for a month and a half here. Like ridiculously dry. And now we're so wet that you really can't mow. So it is what it is. You can't complain. You just got to roll with it. Look at this pretty crepe myrtle. I'm going to prune it up, clean it up one day. I'll record that again. I have an old video of it. Um, with crepe myrtles, all you do is clean up the bottom so where you have a few trunks on it. And you really don't do much to the top. Uh, you can nip off a little bit, but I would say very little bit, less than a foot. This crepe myrtle we pulled from a client's house. It was literally as big as the one in this bucket here that we thought we killed. It's kind of, I should put it in the ground right there so it doesn't completely die. But this one was that size only like maybe four years ago, three years ago if that. And now look at it, it's huge. 
once again, you clean all this stuff up the bottom and you just leave a couple of these big trunks and it'll look really pretty. But guys, that was a quick walkthrough and update on what we've been doing. Um, like I said, I'll try to get more. Oh, let me show you something else. I don't know if I showed you guys, but the girls got more chickens. Um, they were babies. They're pretty big now. Look at them. That one's got a puff ball. They really like people too. Because the kids go in there. Well, Paige and them go in there and um, feed them and interact with them. Right? Nice. And you guys will go out. We're going to build a whole new thing for you guys. More down. See them. Man, that's a big white one back there. My goodness. Well, guys, that was a quick update. Hopefully you guys are doing good. Hopefully you guys have a good rest of the week. I am going to weed some of the garden since I can't mow it. Um, have a good night, guys. Remember, be happy or at least try.